Hey folks, I have Fitbit Charge 5 in front of me and in this video I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing we need to do is to add the charger to turn it on. Here's the charger, so you will align this pins with these ones here and it's magnetic, so just put it like this and then I need to plug it into electricity. I'm going to use my power bank for this. Alright, so it should snap here, you're going to um, feel the vibration, you're going to see the logo, that means that it's on. Now here we can see it's on 53%, if you like you can wait to charge it fully or you can just leave the charging cable on and it's definitely better just to leave it on while you're doing your setup. So the next thing we need to do is to install the app, so let's do that. To install the app, I'm going to go to the App Store and search for the Fitbit. This is how the app logo looks like. Once you find it, tap on Install. Once the installation is done, tap on Open. So you have an option here to sign in with your Google account or sign in with your Fitbit account. So I'm going to tap here on Sign in with my Google account. I'm not going to use this one, so I'm going to tap here on the arrow and then add another account. Once you add your email, tap on next. Now enter your password and then tap on next. I agree. And I'll tap on continue. Here I'm going to tap on continue as a new user. Here I'm going to add my height. And weight, sex, male, and then save and continue. All right. Now scroll this up, check the first check, the second one, and then tap on agree and continue. Now tap on continue, scroll this up, and tap on I agree. Now here you have a few options you can check whatever you like here if you want to get news and updates or research invites you can just enable that here i'm going to leave all of this disabled and tap on save and continue okay so i have registered successfully the next step is to connect so you're probably going to see the same screen here um, asking you to set the fitbit charge 5 i'm using google pixel phone it automatically recognizes that um, the Fitbit is trying to connect, that's why I see um, this screen here. If you don't see it, don't worry about it, I'm going to show you um, what to do. So I'm going to tap here on Setup because I don't have an option to close this. So tap on Setup. This video is brought to you by Stanley Quencher H2.0, the ultimate companion for every adventure. Experience the perfect blend of style, durability and functionality with the Stanley Quencher H2.0 flow state tumbler. No matter where life takes you, it keeps your drinks just the way you like them. For more information, check out the link in the video description below. Um, there is a nearby permission requested to pair, so I'm going to tap here and allow. Again, setup. Scroll this up. I agree. And now it says that should be connected, should be charged. We have it already charging, so that's fine. I'm going to tap here on next. Okay, so it needs a few things here. So I'm going to first tap on the location permission while using this app. And then background location permission, tap here and allow. Tap here on back and now tap on done. Great, it says it found it. And now you will see here uh, four numbers, 6951. So let's enter them here. And now we need to wait for the phone to connect to Fitbit Charge 5. And you can see here it's in the process of pairing. Once the pairing is done, you're going to see this check here. So the next thing you'll see here is this model. 
tap here on pair and connect and then tap here on allow access to contacts and call history this is up to you but definitely you should check tap on pair and here you have to wait a little bit tap here on allow then again notification access of course you want to allow that too uh, this is something that you can do later so i'm going to tap here on skip so now you have a little demonstration on how to wear it so just tap here on next double tap to wake this is just a little bit of instructions so if i double tap here you can see it's it awakes the fitbit then tap on next swipe to navigate we have actually now i'm going to disconnect this because i don't see the screen so to see the screen you will have to disconnect the cable so i'm going to disconnect it tap two times to see the screen the next screen shows you how to navigate so you can scroll um, up and down to navigate and also scroll uh, left or right let's tap here on next and this is again just navigation tap here on next again next and all set so this is pretty much done just tap on the done here uh, this is an option to get fitbit premium you will have to pay for this but this is something optional uh, i'm going to tap here on x i don't want that allow fitbit to send notification definitely so set the permission tap here on allow and that's pretty much it here we are in the app now and we can see on the first page here all of the data and it's about you so you can a little bit uh, navigate here and see what's what so with that we are pretty much done i hope that uh, this instruction was useful to you if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box below thank you guys for watching and as always have a nice day and catch you in the next one bye bye